Hello, this is Geert Jan from the NetBeans team. In this screencast, we're going to take a quick look at the top seven reasons to consider to use NetBeans IDE. In the first place, we're going to look at the fact that NetBeans is free and open source software. Secondly, we'll examine the fact that NetBeans is very easy to get started with. It has many features out of the box, doesn't require you to look for plugins, helps you get started with doing some very advanced development in Java and HTML5 right away. Thirdly, the fact that NetBeans is the official IDE for the Java platform and is aligned with the releases of the JDK. The fourth point we'll examine is the Maven support that is integrated out of the box into NetBeans. Furthermore, we'll examine the HTML5 platform and how it relates to NetBeans. We look at the extensibility that makes it possible for you to add your own technologies into NetBeans. And finally, we'll quickly look at the fact that NetBeans has a very large and very active and very diverse community around the world that you can get involved with. The first of the top seven reasons to quickly look at is the fact that NetBeans is free and open source software. When you are on NetBeans.org, you will see that there is a download button. Click on the download button and you'll be on the download page. And on the download page, you will see that there are different distributions of NetBeans, all of which are free. There is no enterprise version of NetBeans for which you have to pay. Everything that you do with NetBeans is free. There is a free Java SE distribution, perfect if you are at school learning about Java. There is a Java EE distribution, which is great if you want to do web development in Java using the Java EE platform. If you want to do C and C++, there's a distribution for that as well. And there is a distribution specifically focused on HTML5 and PHP developers. So if you want to do pure web front-end development, not using Java in any way at all, you can still use NetBeans. Or you can use the old distribution, which is very nice if you want to make use of many technologies in the same development environment. But it's much more likely that you'll need one of the others instead. Don't use the old distribution if you don't need all of the technologies. Secondly, so the first point was NetBeans is free. Second point here is that NetBeans is open source. If you go to hg.netbeans.org, you will have the open sourced available code of NetBeans. So all of NetBeans IDE is open sourced. Go to hg.netbeans.org, you can tap that on the command line, use Mercurial, check out the sources, and you can use them. As many people have done, they have created their applications on top of NetBeans or they have created plugins for NetBeans, you can do that relatively easily because the source code is available for you to inspect and read, which you wouldn't be able to do if the software was not open source. So that is the first reason to consider to use NetBeans. It's free, so why not use it? Secondly, it's open source. All the source code is available for you to look at. Next, let's look at the fact that it's very easy to get started with NetBeans. All you need to do is to download it, to click on the installation icon, and then the installation procedure begins. NetBeans is installed, you can start it up, and you can do all kinds of development without needing to look for plugins that may or may not work well with each other. All the basic functionality you need is there. If you look at the NetBeans Facebook page, you will see that one of the reviewers is James Gosling, the founder of Java. James Gosling says here, I live in NetBeans, I use it more than email, everything works together smoothly, it doesn't feel like a bag of disconnected parts. All the tools are there. That's really a key feature of NetBeans that its users appreciate very much indeed. Let's very quickly look at what James Gosling is referring to when he says that NetBeans is a well-integrated development environment. NetBeans is open, we have the services window, we can see our databases, we can see our servers, we can see the web services that we might want to use, we can register our own web services, we can register cloud providers here, we can see the Maven repository, we can use Hudson and Jenkins, and team servers like Java.net, their task repositories and test drivers. Everything here in the bottom left are all the tools and technologies we're likely to want to make use of. In the projects window, we can see that we can work with multiple projects at the same time, we can create new projects very easily via the new project dialog. Java projects, Java EE, we can use Maven very easily from within the new project dialog. Next, when you look in the editor, we have here a Java editor with many different features. 
um, we can analyze the code in many different ways. So go to source and inspect. And you can see, for example, that we have find bugs integration. Um, we can use all kinds of different Java hints. There's many inspections that we can make use of. We can analyze the code to make sure it complies to the rules that we've set for it. We can directly from within NetBeans check the code into Git or into Mercurial or into Subversion. We can use a debugger and a profiler. And we can configure everything inside the options window. So here we are in the options window. And for example, the Java editor, the folding, the formatting, the colors, the macros, code completion. When we save, we can force a reformat to happen across our code base, for example. Many things, almost everything can be configured in one way or another, or things can be extended. So you can create new plugins that provide new features into NetBeans very easily. Here is a list of the installed plugins. We can add um, new plugins via the downloaded tab, or we can register new update centers, which are like app stores, which contain modules that we might want to integrate into NetBeans. Everything you need to do when creating Java applications is provided here out of the box, from plain Java desktop to Java EE to Java ME and Java embedded, all integrated into a single development environment. Next, what's really important to know is that NetBeans is the official IDE for the Java platform. You can see that when you're on the downloads page on oracle.com, so on OTN, oracle.com, slash tech network, Java, Java SE downloads, you see that together with the JDK, you can download NetBeans. They're integrated together. It's one single bundle. Click on this button and you have NetBeans together with the JDK. Whenever a new version of the JDK has been released, so JDK 7 and now JDK 8, NetBeans comes out with a release that has the same number and that is aligned with it. So we're looking forward to JDK 9, together with which we will have NetBeans 9. A fourth aspect to look at is Maven. If you are using Maven as the basis of your Java applications, you really need to give NetBeans a try. Here is our Maven application, Customer Manager. We have here a Palm. We can open the Palm. We see our source, as one would expect, but there's also a very nice graph, which helps us get a nice perspective of what's going on in our application, helps us to see the relationship between the dependencies in the application, and we can also exclude visually within the graph dependencies that we don't want to make use of, and then automatically the Palm XML file was updated with the exclusions we've done. We can look at the effect of Palm, so if you had a multi-module Maven application, we'd be able to see where each part of the Palm comes from. But what's most important of all is that when we want to open a project into NetBeans that makes use of Maven, NetBeans automatically recognizes the folder. So this is a Maven application simply because it contains a Palm file. Because it contains a Palm file in this folder, NetBeans understands this is a Maven application and it uses the pump file to define the project structure that you see in NetBeans. So we have opened this anagram game Maven application, and automatically we have this structure that you see here. And that structure is read directly from the pump file. Normally an IDE would throw additional files into the Maven application to make it understandable by the IDE. In this case, NetBeans simply looks at the folder, looks at the fact that it contains a PUM file, reads the PUM file, and creates the project structure purely based on that. To get to that point, no plugins need to be installed. This is out-of-the-box functionality in NetBeans for integration with Maven. And this is a key reason why people have been starting to use NetBeans over the past few years, far more than the years before that. The fifth point to very quickly look at is the fact that NetBeans now supports the HTML5 platform. The more general point here is that NetBeans innovates. NetBeans doesn't stay stuck on particular technologies, but the NetBeans team looks around to see what's going on in the world and picks up new technologies where needed and supports you with uh, new technologies, with new techniques. And the example of the past few years is, of course, HTML5. A lot of people are doing development with JavaScript and with HTML and with CSS, and NetBeans provides tools to support you in that. Take, for example, this very simple scenario where we have an HTML page with an H1 tag that says Hello World. Via NetBeans, we can deploy that directly into a browser. 
Having done that, one normally would need to do a lot of work to actually find out where this hello world is defined back in the development environment, especially when you have hundreds of HTML files and a lot of CSS in your website. In NetBeans, however, you can install a plugin into the Chrome browser, which lets you, say, inspect a NetBeans mode and then allows you to click on what you see in the browser. And then inside NetBeans, you see in the bottom left a DOM view which also interacts back with the browser. So bi-directional communication on the IDE side, we have the, the browser DOM window. In the browser, we can see that when you click on something, we can see where it's defined back in the development environment. We can jump into the source and we can make changes. And as soon as we save, we can see that the browser is updated. But also imagine if we had a CSS style sheet added into our website, so we can drag and drop is CSS and press save. And now we see that the font has changed. To find out where the font is would normally be a bit of work as well. We can see here we have a CSS styles window which shows the CSS of whatever element is selected in the browser. Here the color is found. I can jump from here into the source and here it is, the CSS. And I can use code completion to call up all the different colors. And without pressing save, the browser is updated. So you can very quickly do your tweaks inside your source code. And without saving, you can see the impact. And once you are happy with the changes, you can save and press the save button or press control S in, on the keyboard. Also, in the CSS styles window, you can make the changes yourself um, via this uh, GUI. So there are, there's GUI support and integration between the browser and between NetBeans which really makes HTML5 development a lot simpler than it otherwise is with the many different files that you normally need to manage when you are creating websites. What's also really special about NetBeans is that it has a very large set of APIs that you can use to extend it. You can integrate your own technology into NetBeans. If we look inside NetBeans, you can go to Tools and Plugins, as you saw earlier, and you can see all the available plugins. A lot of these are from the NetBeans community. The, the ones with the green icons that you see on the right hand side in this list are all community provided plugins. In the NetBeans plugin portal, which you can get to once you're on the NetBeans homepage on netbeans.org, you can click on plugins in the top and you'll see the plugin portal. The plugin portal is where you can upload any plugins that you've created yourself and you can specify whether the community should verify your plugin. If the community should do that and you pass the verification, then your plugin will be made available inside NetBeans itself in the plugin manager to make it easier for your users to install your plugin. So NetBeans is um, extensible and there is a lot of documentation that you can read. The NetBeans platform site has all the documentation and Especially, you should watch a movie called Five Simple Ways to Extend NetBeans IDE to get started with that. Of the seven top reasons to consider using NetBeans IDE, the community aspect is probably the most enjoyable of all. If you are on the netbeans.org homepage, you will see that there is a community tab. In the community tab, you find many different ways in which you can get involved in the free and open source community around NetBeans. You can develop NetBeans IDE by creating plugins. You can join the forums and the mailing lists. You can contribute tips and tricks in different ways, either on your blog or via the mailing lists or via wikis. Or via Twitter, you can report bugs. You can help test upcoming releases. You can write your own blogs. You can join a translation community. And if you are a teacher, you can join a special community dedicated to teachers using NetBeans. To quickly go through some of the highlights, there is a Twitter channel dedicated to NetBeans. You can join um, in getting new information about NetBeans on Facebook. You can see movies about NetBeans on YouTube. You can create your own movies about NetBeans and contribute them there. There are books that are always being written about NetBeans. And these are some of the books from the previous year about PHP and NetBeans, about getting started with NetBeans and NetBeans IDE how to. Java EE and HTML5, and a book written on leanpub.com together with um, Courseware about getting started with the NetBeans platform as the basis of your software. 
you can also get the latest uh, Sam's Teach Yourself Java, which makes use of NetBeans, Java SE8 book, um, or the uh, Java introduction course on O'Reilly by Ben and Martin from the London Jug. All of these books make use of NetBeans in uh, critical ways. JavaFX and the NetBeans platform book by Paul and Gail Anderson is also very highly recommended. A new book has recently been released on NetBeans RDE8, a cookbook, and a new book is being written as we speak, which will also be published on leanpub.com. You can join the NetCat community, which is the NetBeans community acceptance testing community, um, and you can become involved in that to test your favorite features of NetBeans and give direct feedback to the NetBeans engineers. There is a Dream Team, which is a community organization with enthusiastic NetBeans users from around the world uh, with well-known faces such as Kirk Pepperdine, who's a performance guru, but many others. Adam Bean is part of it, Zoran Shevarac from Serbia, uh, Tony Apple from Germany. From all over the world, there are people involved in the NetBeans Dream Team organization, leading different um, activities and events that have something to do with NetBeans. There's a NetBeans teachers group on Google+, where you can share tips and tricks and lesson plans that relate to teaching with NetBeans in the classroom. There is a children's related organization called um, EPIC, Encouraging Programming in Kids, where Minecraft in the form of a NetBeans project is available that you can use for children to get them to start learning to program. So here are some photos from workshops that have been held, small children with NetBeans installed, playing Minecraft, um, parents helping the children, teaching each other how to get started with NetBeans. So um, you can become active in the NetBeans community in multiple different ways. We really need you to be part of the community. And what's also very useful to know about is that um, your organization can freely advertise its, itself and its services on oracle.com. NetBeans IDE has its own page on oracle.com on OTN. And there is a sub tab here called community which lists customer case studies from companies around the world who make use of NetBeans. Either the whole company has converted to be uh, NetBeans users or um, particular projects within the company are done via NetBeans. And that qualifies for you to publish your organization's work and services on this oracle.com website. You're very welcome to do that. Similarly, when you're on the enterprise page on netbeans.org, you will see that there is a partners page. If for your technology you have created a plugin for NetBeans, you qualify as a NetBeans partner. This is the case if you are not an individual developer, but you are an organization or a company of some kind, or the technology that you've created is on behalf of your company then your company or your organization is very warmly invited to become part of the NetBeans Partner Program. And with that, we end the top seven reasons to consider using NetBeans IDE. You can see it's got a very fun and interesting community all over the world, people very active in various projects as teachers, as translators, as all kinds of different things. You can also see it's a free and open source uh, project. We really need you to be involved. It's easy to get started with. It's closely aligned with Oracle releases of the JDK. And on the level of tools and technologies, it's particularly a good choice if you want to use Java, if you use Maven, and also if you're using HTML5 in one way or another. So JavaScript and CSS and HTML, as well as PHP. These technologies are very well supported with their NetBeans. We're looking forward to seeing you take part in the community. Thank you for watching.